I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Durch die Wellen kam zu erklingt. Elbing gleitet, wie der Wind singt. Lichter blinken, Hoffnung schwingt. Träume segeln, was der Tag bringt. Nie genug. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Elbing. Someone had asked to check it out and how is it working to, in today's meta. Before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support of the channel. Building a better community, learning something at the same time, and having a blast doing it as well. So let's get right to it. The Elbing, tier 10 German, uh, I would say heavy bully, mid slash cruiser, slash destroyer, slash torpo, slash AP king. Uh, this thing is a beast and it really... Uh, does shine and you can see just the power of what you can do with it everybody has different play styles and this is something um, I find that really uh, is interesting I'll read a little bit uh, snippets about it before we go into the tactics and tips of success Elbing is a tier 10 German destroyer that tends to share more in common with cruisers than other destroyers at her tier her 150 millimeter armor piercing shells pack a punch capable of penetrating to the citadel of mini cruisers who show their broadside she is also armed with torpedoes and has access to defensive fire consumable to repel enemy aircraft beginning with her strong traits elbing has good guns supports decent ballistic properties for a destroyer her main battery has an exceptional firing range with very very good accuracy meaning that players can choose to engage at longer ranges to harass enemy capital ships combine combine that with her improved pen angles and excellent pen angles compared to ap pens of hindenburg she is a serious threat to cruisers her torpedoes hit hard and reload quickly despite their slow speed in the water her two rear facing guns mount mounts enable elbing to defend herself well when retreating Despite these traits, players may find that Elbing possesses some difficulties while serving in a traditional destroyer role. With a modest detectability range, she will be likely spotted first in an engagement, just like we are getting spotted with the uh, Hydro from the Z-52 right there. Notice our uh, RPF is pinging in that general direction, so we're aiming right there and just keeping our guns trained in an uh, a, uh, engaging manner. Once detective Elbing is a large target due to her size and height out of the water, players will dis quickly discover that Elbing has a very poor turn radius and sluggish rudder, as you are seeing right here. That um, makes conducting emergency maneuvers to dodge incoming ordnance very, very difficult. Unlike Z-52, which we're going against right now, Elbing does not have access to hydroacoustic surge consumables, making it difficult to engage in a play style where countering enemy destroyers is a priority. For these reasons, Elbing excels at medium to long ranges, harassments of enemy ships, along with scouting roles. Elbing is best utilized as a scout ship to harass enemy ships and engage in target spotting to assist teammates. Her large pool of hit points, as you can see right now, built out to 34,400, uh, and access to defensive fire consumable, long-range guns with good ballistics and torpedo armament make her a formidable threat to any ship she faces. She is relatively self-sufficient, but players should try to avoid close quarters and games with other destroyers to minimize the difficulties presented by her large per profile and poor turning capabilities. As you can see, just right there, that little maneuver going in and out, basic uh, tips to success really um you have to know your destroyer and what you're going up against so uh, before the match always i have always recommended destroyer players just hit tab check out what's your lineup you got a carrier you got a submarine what destroyers are you going against what kind of radar is out there knowing the battlefield landscape allows you to actually kind of figure out what kind of initial pushes or maybe roles that you're doing and maybe you have to wait till something is spotted for example maybe you're waiting to spot that a radar or the destroyer that has radar or a hydroacoustic six kilometer hydro um, effect that the um, Z-52 has right here. So we know that there's a submarine right there. So knowing your player lineup allows you to kind of figure out, hey, what kind of aggressiveness am I going to do? Again, with Elbing, as you read earlier, as we just read, Elbing is not really something that is going in and doing a traditional destroyer role. You're kind of seeing what the majority of this role is, really sitting mid-range to long range and just providing heavy gunfire gun fire support. And that's what you pretty much are. You're not a DD hunter. You're not really um, a cap contester. You're really just there to support the main push, either with a submarine, as you can see we're doing right now, or with another destroyer player. And then you have battleships in the back, as always. 
As you can see, here's the power of the AP right there. Look at that AP power, 2,700 damage. We're getting some non-pens, but that would be effective at, uh, or understandable at these ranges. Look, full pens right there and getting about 3,000 damage. They, um, the, the ballistics of these shells coming out of the gun are really, really fantastic. That's something that I like about. The accuracy of the guns, as we just read earlier, is very, very noticeable. It's very accurate, very sharp pinpoint. Um, Elbing, I would say, uh, Elbing, Ragnar, and the um, Tromp. Uh, which uh, boasts those 150 millimeter plus guns are very, very super accurate, even at long ranges. That's why I like these kind of destroyers. Unfortunately, these aren't the, uh, you know, go in and bully a cap kind of thing. Um, that That is something that is more left up to the smaller nimble destroyers. But I like the Elbing because it's just, first, you're packing a lot of heat here. You've got big guns, a lot of HP, and you're kind of like that really, really big bullying uh, destroyer, kind of like the Ragnar style play. Again, you're not meant to just go in there and just go guns blazing and you don't have any kind of concealment of any kind. Uh, you're 6.5, so you get spotted first. You do have smokes, but smokes, you got to be very careful in the day of radar and hydro and everything today. You got to use it as, in my personal opinion, I use it as a defensive measure rather than spamming HE um, because really a lot of uh, torpedo boats will spam torpedoes into the, the smoke like you can see right here and i'm probably going to take this is my mistake here's a lesson right here don't go broadside right into a cap until you understand where is that destroyer what they're doing right there so you saw a quite mistake right there however forgiving wise we have a lot a lot of hp and we don't have heals so you have to understand that that is a trade-off but you got to be very very careful what you're doing right there uh, one key component is most people go into a cap nose in. I made a mistake going full broadside. And again, you can see the turning uh, radius and the maneuverability of the Elbing is very, very poor. Notice right now I'm just kind of going a quarter speed and I'm keeping that uh, the with the RPF uh, and the guns pointed in the direction of uh, the threat. So you always want to make sure you have guns pointed in the threat with RPF. That's why I like situational awareness. Now this is a legendary Elbing, so the gun turrets swing extra super fast so you're not limited by the slow traverse speed. And of course, I'm also launching preemptive torps into gaps, keeping anything, any kind of threat at bay. And notice I'm at quarter speed because I don't want to be stuck in reverse and having to traverse that speed very quickly because as a destroyer player, you need to get out of dodge quickly if there are uh, enemy torpedoes. You got, you're being jumped all of a sudden and you want to have that smoke ready like it is right now, ready to go when you need it. And then that way it gets you out of any kind of situation. I said, always have an exit strategy. Back in the day, you can back into a cap, but I find that you know actually going quarter speed, nosed in, it just serves the same purpose or I can revert, you know, start going quarter speed in and quarter speed out. So I'm always one foot out the door if I need to. I'm always at the edge of that cap perimeter. So that's kind of how I uh, cap nowadays. And reversing in was good back in the day for me. But now with the age of radar and everything, everything on spotting you, it's just too slow for my personal opinion. And I always want to be moving uh, constantly at quarter speed because that allows me not only cap, but also have an exit strategy to get out of dodge quickly. Notice that the RPF is pointing in this direction. I'm, hey, I'm signaling to my teammates as a good, effective destroyer player. You want to know and give uh, information to the rest of your team so we, they understand hey this is where the threat is what can we do and how can we push it how can we mitigate it so right now our objective is now to get bravo keeping our guns to pointed to the right side of the ship so that we can engage and there's the z52 just like we anticipated and we're going to help our teammates out preemptive preemptive torps you notice the torp reload is incredible on the uh elbing about 76 seconds with adrenaline rush kicking in normally it's a 90 but we're getting it down to 72 is pretty phenomenal and these are very slow torpedoes but they are a wall of devastation if somebody runs into them so i've been getting these random torpedo hits which are really really good Notice Z-52 is in his smoke with hydro on, so we do not want to push knowing your ship's parameters. I know Z-52 has 6-kilometer hydro, so I'm not going to push into 6 kilometers. I'm going to keep him at a distance. Meanwhile, pushing the edge as far as I can get to the cap. We lose our daring right now, but we're still capping. Again, we're supporting our destroyer player. That's a very good tip to success is support other destroyer players. Have the minimap blown up. Know where everybody's at so you can do a quick reaction uh, push or force back to where the threat and where the objective needs to be. So we're going to put this island in between us and Z-52 so that he doesn't spot us because he outspots us definitely as about 6.1 or 2. We're at 6.5 concealment so he definitely will spot us first. Now we don't have any radar or any kind of detection ability so we're going to go ahead and egress the area and retreat at quarter speed meanwhile make sure, making sure that we cap this area. Ooh, now here we go. We're going to talk about blind firing right here. So I, I watched a lot of Flamu and po uh, Potato Quality videos about this and it's really, really good um, how to do this. So always imagine where the silhouette is. Okay, take a snapshot right there. That's where the gearing is. Keep the horizon line right on where the gearing's at and now you just fire and you're going to get those hits right there so what's he going to do he's probably going to reverse but before that i'm going to launch some torpedoes just in case i get a lucky shot 
See if we can start a fire on the St. Martin. Okay, now look at the gearing. What he's doing, he's firing in smoke right there. So now that he's probably in reverse, I'm going to lead in front of him and put the horizon line uh, uh, indicator right where I think he is. And we look, we get another hit. He's probably still in reverse. I'm gonna, it takes a time for him to stop his reaction. And do we get this nice hit? And boom, do we get it. See, he was going in reverse. So what you got to do is imagine where those gun turrets are, aim slightly below it, and then to the left or in an, or left or right of what direction you think they're moving. Most destroyer players are moving in the smoke because they know that players don't want to shoot the center of it. So they're going to keep moving around like I would. And that is a very, very good technique on how to blind fire and shoot in smoke, especially with these super accurate guns of the Elbing. Very, very powerful, very devastating. So we're, we're going to do is we're going to try to start another fire on the St. Martin. And I mean, this thing, these Elbing guns shoot out the look. We got this thing built out to about, what is it, 15 or 16 kilometers? Yep, we got the guns built out to 16 kilometers, which is really far for a destroyer, but they're super accurate, and I love the fact that they're almost like rail guns, where anything, you you put the thing on the thing, you pull the trigger, you're going to hit it. So right now, we're going to see if we can start another, this thing is really good at starting fires, 150 millimeter guns really do a lot of good pen especially at range and right there we get a fire right there and doing a lot of damage as well to the uh what is it the missouri yep and doing a lot a lot of firepower a lot of damage and these are accurate again I, everywhere I, I aim at this thing i seem to just be able to hit this thing really well uh, i like the accuracy i like the speed of the shells coming out of the guns great arcs i mean they're not like lofty like you see in gearing or kind of like daring kind of uh destroyer he shells but man look at this thing this thing is a a, a beast it really does bully cruisers and battleships as well especially when you're able to push out of these long distant ranges the engine boost is great i love the fact that the engine boost allows us to get up to 45 knots so the speed and the agility of it is really good now the, the turn and the maneuverability is not as great in the elbing i feel like i'm turning a, a cruiser and boom there it is splash two we get another kill right there get the missouri out of the game and now our next victim is giuseppe verde so we got uh, let's see if we can get this guy. Uh, we can start. Oh, we nice damage there on top of the deck. No, unfortunately, his arm, he's way too heavily armored. Uh, let me double check on uh, making sure what kind of uh, gun or pow firepower does this thing actually pack in the Elbing. And I think the Elbing does a great job of the pen angle. I'm sorry, the uh, HE. It pens 38 millimeters. My goodness, 150 millimeter guns. 100 initial speed coming out of the barrels, 960 meters per second. I'm talking these are rail guns, right? And the pen on the HE is 38 millimeters. So very, very powerful, very, very effective as to what this thing can do. I mean, literally everybody on the, sh the map is literally your lunch you can e eat everybody's lunch uh with the he shells i mean 38 mils is awesome especially for superstructure 32 mil plating plating for uh, like a lot of the cruisers and some of the battleships out there a lot of the french battleships especially those cruisers i love to sit in camp man elbing will eat them alive as well as if you see in full broadside you can get some nice ap shots notice i'm switching back and forth between ap and he and let's see if we can get a, a demonstration of the he power right here i'm sorry ap power no we fired a little bit too low right there so i didn't get a nice pin but it's still 700 damage and it here's the full blast right here right into the broadside and a boom 3160 you saw the number that ticked up right there 3160 that does the battleships and cruisers just with the full broadside right there that is the power of the ap this thing does pack a wallop and it is super uber duper powerful so um, that's the Elbing in a nutshell. So would I recommend this ship? Absolutely. This thing is very, very strong in randoms. Um, maybe uh, I would say uh, not so much in competitive unless you have a good lineup of destroyers and you guys work together and communicate. Elbing can be a very impactful player at comp level if you know what you're doing. Um, I think I don't see many people running Elbings in, com in competitive because of the fact that you do require yourself to go out, spot the DDs. You do need to go cap you have to go attack if you're more of that long range kind of spamming kind of thing maybe that may work for your team if you guys are doing uh if you have a good de destroyer complement where somebody can go out ahead of you and spot you can have a shima or gearing out front and pop smoke or whatever that may be the, the elbing can work very uh, as a complement to those uh light destroyers again i think of this as a heavy destroyer which means that you're kind of in that mid range and kind of just in the mid or in the back uh, of an uh, in, uh, of another destroyer player so really that is the kind of the tool i would see as an elbing or a ragnar or maybe even um 
uh, a bigger, uh, even the Dutch, uh, what is it, the, the Tromp, where really you're not going to go out there and bully the cap because you don't have any kind of detectability. Uh, Tromp, on the other hand, you do have good detectability. Unfortunately, no hydro, no radar, no nothing. So, yeah, you're just kind of that, that heavy platform that is there to support another light destroyer and really uh, bully other uh, players out of the region. And that's kind of like the Elbing is, like just a heavy fire fi- firepower juggernaut. That's my, that's what I like about it. It is slow to turn, very not formidable. It's fast. It's got 45, like a rocket, but, man, just to turn this thing, it is annoying. See, look at this slow turn. The guns with a legendary mod I do recommend because it makes things tra- uh, traverse really quickly so you can get on other destroyers or uh, situations that call for it. Look at that. Boom, 7,600 of that damage. That was a, definitely a good demonstration of what the power of the AP can do if, uh, if used correctly. But that is the Elming build will be at the end of the video. hope you enjoy that replay with the uh, Elming. Didn't do much to damage, but we, are, we were uh, an impactful player to help our team out. Top two right there there and uh yeah did a uh, decent amount and uh we were doing what we can it does cost a lot because see i'm not making much money off of this thing so um i don't know what it is but the elbing just doesn't make enough i need to upgrade the commander or add a flag or something but anyways hope you guys enjoy the video let me know in the comments below what you think is your thoughts of the elbing and how to use it in today's meta and here's the build at the end of the screen as always if you see me out there make sure you say hi and as always you guys stay safe and we'll see you guys soon cheers